This is a part two of IPsec VPN. In this part, we will understand what is aggressive mode. So let's continue. In aggressive mode, three messages are exchanged and let's understand what those messages are. We have initiator and responder. So in this initiator is sending first message to responder. You can see in this we have hadl. We have understood what is hadl. H is hashing, A authentication, D Diffie Hellman, then L is lifetime and E is encryption. So this all information goes in the first message. But apart from that, the NAT T also goes, Diffie Hellman key data also goes and along with that as we know in Diffie Hellman nonce value is a random number that also goes in this message and then identification goes of initiator dpd goes dead peer detection and x authentication also is the part of this message from this you can understand that this message is equivalent to first four messages in the main mode because in main mode in first message hadl information goes the devices exchange hadl information and then they say okay we both support these kind of hashing authentication etc and in third and fourth message diffie hellman negotiation takes place but in the in the aggressive mode that's happening in just first message in second message let's see what goes in second message exactly same information what has gone in the first message but apart from that nat d and hash payload also goes in the second message Hash payloads are of responder. So you might be thinking that we haven't seen the hash payload of initiator. Initiator's hash payload will go in the third message. So here is, we have the third message. Let's see, you can see hash payload goes, but this goes in encrypted form. The third message in aggressive mode is encrypted. So this is shared in the third message. Now you have understood the main mode protect the identity. However, aggressive mode does not support because in main mode, fifth and sixth messages are encrypted and in fifth and sixth messages, identity goes. This is very important exam question also. And this question is also asked in interview many times. So please keep that in mind. So what is the key takeaway from this uh, video is that you understood that three messages are exchanged in aggressive mode. It means it is faster. Three messages are exchanged, but we also understood that identity is not encrypted. So it means it's not secure. It is fast, but it is not secure. The question is then why we should use aggressive mode or where we should use aggressive mode. Do we still use aggressive mode because it is not secure? The answer is yes, we do use aggressive mode. And where we use the aggressive mode, we use the aggressive mode where you have to configure remote VPN for the people who has to work from home. For them, we use aggressive mode. And uh, also, if there are uh, two sites and you have to configure the site-to-site -site VPN and one site has a dynamic IP address, its IP gets changed all the time. In that case, also we use aggressive mode because the IP of this uh, device will change. We cannot configure this IP in another firewall. So this firewall will always act as a dial-up. So it will dial the VPNs and the process will start. So in these two kind of cases, we use the aggressive mode. I hope you liked the video. This was a theory. And in my next video, I will show you everything what we discussed in the Wireshark. So please subscribe to my channel, like the video and share with your friends.